We'll start here. Governor Kathy Hochul is proposing expanding charter schools in her budget, and that has sparked a debate in Albany between charter school supporters and those who oppose opening more of them. Most Buffalo's Kelly Dudzik joins us with the latest on this debate today. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kate. The State Education Department got a lot of questions about this during the budget hearing yesterday. And this afternoon, NYSA, the State Teachers Union, which opposes charter school expansion, held a press conference to talk about a poll that it had done. But first, here's what's being proposed in Governor Hochul's budget. She wants to increase New York City charter schools per pupil funding by 4.7% and open up the more than 100 charter school licenses still available in the state to New York City, which reached its cap years ago. That number includes zombie licenses from schools that closed. NYSUD had Heart Research Associates poll 100, 800 rather, one registered voters from across the state and found 79% of those people oppose plans to increase the number of charter schools. So first you're going to hear from NYSUD, then the National Alliance for Public Charter Schools. You have a tremendous amount of money going into the schools from the foundation aid. We're thrilled with that this year with the governor's budget, but we also say um, a large percentage of that for Buffalo schools will come right out and go to the uh, charters. So right now there's over $150 million that gets taken out of the Buffalo public schools to go through the charters. That is um, not consistent with the polling data that we've seen. Um, we did national polling of parents a couple of months ago with the Harris poll. And we found that three quarters of parents, about 75% across the country, including in the state of New York, um, were interested in having more options in public schools and particularly charter school expansion. A reminder, the charter schools get public funding but are independently run. I asked NYSUD how many of the 801 people polled were from Western New York, and they told me 15% were from the Buffalo and Rochester media markets. So if you'd like to look at the poll results from the Teachers Union, I'll be posting a link with this story on our website. I'll also be posting a link for you to the National Alliance for Public Charter Schools so you can see their data too. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.